I ain't gonna hold you. So tonight we look at chapter 27 from Jose Silva's The Silva Mind Control Method of Mental Dynamics. This is the last and final chapter. So thank you for listening. And uh, please leave a suggestion on what book you think we should uh, take a look at next. He says, view, next, view the negative side of all things that disturb you at present. Imagine your circumstances if you allow them to continue the way they are now. What will be the outcome of this continuation? We all have security blankets that we hang on to with fists of iron. Fearful of letting go of the familiar, we accept the continuing routine of things that someone on the outside may see as unacceptable. The outsider, not understanding that the seemingly neg negative experience represents security, will come up with false conclusions every time. Lacking information, the outsider cannot possibly understand what is going on. Even the person with the problem may not realize that the situation is necessary, that it represents the security of the familiar. Actually, there is no sense in worrying about or concentrating on past mistakes. For given the same information and the same you at that time, you would find that if you could relive the event, you would do the same thing over and over again. The reason you are seeing it as an error is that you have grown and are no longer that same person that you were then. Your mistakes are only things that did not work. The only way for you to know what works is to do it. If something does not work, it's up to you not to use it again. Keep at it until you discover what does work. Persistence is the key. Do something right now. Begin by enjoying something. Begin now. Let the next moment just happen. Enjoy it for itself. Whatever you are doing, enjoy the doing. Now, relax. When you are relaxed, all your energies are flowing properly and in accord with one another. You are in balance. Anxiety vanishes when you are relaxed. Anxiety is a form of fear, apprehension about some future event. You cannot be fearful of a future event if you expect that event to be positive. The fear of change stems from expecting something bad to happen. Change is growth. Without change, there can be no strengthening of concepts, no greater awareness, no evolution. Change is a necessary part of the human experience. To avoid change is to avoid life. By viewing change as resulting in the successful attainment of a goal, change and the future become things of great joy and the appetite for life is strengthened and reestablished. Desired change becomes a natural thing. Change becomes something to look forward to, a positive expectation. Change becomes a belief that something beneficial is going to happen. To instill the strength necessary to view change as growth, as fruitful and challenging, it remains only to use the silver techniques. We view change as a positive experience, providing the change is desired. Go to level your meditative alpha state of mind and visualize the change as a positive event. Use the golden image technique as outlined in chapter five to enhance the positive image. See the end result you desire as though you were the author of a play about your life. View the positive aspects, white framed and expect good things to take place. You'll be making the unfamiliar familiar. Change then becomes a natural thing. Change then becomes something to look forward to, a positive expectation, faith. Change then becomes a belief that something good is about to happen. Believe it to be, and it will be. Thank you for listening. Take care.